Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you for always supporting me. Apologies, I've got a bit of a croaky throat, you know, the germs going around with the weather change and the winter vibe. Um, but I feel like you'll already know, you've clicked on it for a reason. By the title, this is a home bargains haul. Kind of a Christmas edition, basically. I'm so excited. I am a big home bargains advocate. I love, I just go in there and it's like, going to a spa for me. I just love being in there, looking what offers I can get, looking at the bits that I need in my life or don't need. But you know, so let's just crack on. Thanks my lovely assistant Jordan with the glass inside. Okay, first up, I have wanted this for ages, like forever. And I feel like you will have probably seen this because loads of people have got this or spoken about this, but it is the decorative glass jar. I am so happy I found it. It was the last one on the shelf, bearing in mind. Every time I go in, it's not there. Or I've gone in and been like, oh, I don't need it. Leave it. But I just thought, I need it. <laughs> so I feel like I'm either going to go for Christmas decorations inside, like maybe some lights, maybe some like dried up orange vibes, or it's going to go in the bathroom with bath bombs in because this household loves bath bombs. So, um, yeah, this was a must. This was priced at 8 99 which I think is really good value because something like this at other, like, home stores is, like, five times the price. Like, honestly, there was one I was looking at and it was a lot more expensive than that. So, very happy with this bargain purchase. So, I thought I'd go in with the bang. I think this may be the favourite out of everything that I've bought, so I thought I'd start with the best. Next. I'm telling you now, if you go in home bargains, don't take your partner because Jordan thought it'd be great to buy this. Do you know how much this was? This was like £7.99 or £7. I would not spend that on an advent calendar. Yes, Reese's is his favourite and if he wants to spend his money on whatever he wants, he can do. But I think that is a very expensive for an advent calendar, personally. Um, so if you have someone in the family that is obsessed with Reese's, this is in there. They also have a cheaper version that isn't so extravagant. Like, I feel like he just picked it because you turn the wheel and one drops out. It's basically a game with chocolate. Um, and I feel like Marley's going to see this and want this one. But there was no way I was buying two of these. So this one's Jordan's. This one's mine which cost two pounds which i think i was mind blown because when i was little advent calendars were like 80p and now none of them are less than a pound so yeah this is just the basic cadbury's one as well i think that was about two pounds next so like i said this is kind of a christmas haul so there's lots of ideas i thought of going for like presents or secret santa kind of vibes so i found this i thought mm, that's cute what could it be it is wax melts so there is all different like Christmas scents. I feel like this is such a good Secret Santa idea or like for a friend. So yeah, sorry. Now you can see. But I thought it looks really cute. And I feel like after you can put this out for Christmas, like Christmas time, it could be a decorative piece. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I was very impressed with this. There's got like Christmas tree, warm apple pie, um, home baking fireside glow there's 12 cents so it's basically 12 days of christmas um and i just feel like sort of christmas you've got like a scent for every day on the lead up and this was only 2.99 i think that is a bargain like what a great stocking filler as well like i would be well chucked if this was in my stocking so yeah 2.99 12 days of wax melts to celebrate the joys of christmas love that great present idea and like i said you could use it after as decorative like you could leave it on the side sat up or sat down on like your um tv cabinet i feel like it's very cute next we have fake snow oh um spray on snow ideal for christmas decorations stick on all surfaces so you know me i like to spray the windows the floors so yeah, always grab this. These were like, so yeah, pound each. I always buy these every year. I just feel like, for me, just doing them little extras, I really enjoy doing. Like Sometimes I think I would rather do these little extras than like buy big presents and stuff for him. Because like, I feel like this is more magical, personally. And I feel like I'm just having fun with it all. One day, 
Molly will be a teenager and not want to get out of bed at 6am to see what presents have been left. So while he's little and enjoys it all, I try and make an effort. Then we got, they had so many cute, um, I forgot what they're called, baubles. So I'm just going to get them all out. So we got letters to Santa Claus special delivery and it opens. Um, I just thought that was really cute. So yeah, we got this cute little letterbox. I loved that. How cute. Then we got, I love anything that's a bit like glittery. We got a little candy train. So cute. Then I just saw this and thought of myself. So I thought I would add that to the tree. It's just a little cocktail glass with a lime on the side. Love that. They had this in blue as well. Then this was just a really pretty sparkly one. Um, it's a wreath basically, isn't it? I just thought that's a nice little add-on. A little cup of cocoa. Is that what they call it? What's, what's this one called? They have got names. Oh, this one doesn't say on it. But yeah, I just thought that was really cute. It matched the train. And then last, I found this at the back. This was like the last one, but... I have got, already got like Mr. and Mrs. Gingerbread on our tree. So I found the house to match it. I think that's so cute. So we went to our local ones, which are small home bargains, but there is a big one in Nottingham. So I feel like they would have more choice because I watched a video, like a reels, of the Liverpool home bargains and they had some incredible stuff, like giant lollipops and candy canes. And they didn't have that in our local one, but I think it's because of the size. So if you've got a big superstore, like a bigger one, I would definitely go see, because I feel like they'll have so many more options, but these were my favorites in the store. They also had like gold, silver mixed colors. So depending on your theme, we have more of a red theme, red and silver than gold, the gold side. So I thought I'd just get some red bits, but on my tray, I do add like random bits of color. So. They were all less than two pounds each. They were like one pound something each. Um, all different by 10p or so. But yeah, they were the baubles for the tree this year. I never ever spend a lot of money on baubles. Like, do you know when you go to the garden centres and they've got the most stunning baubles? I never bother. I always go for the cheaper ones because I'll always remember my sister bought me three, when we moved into our house, the present, three gorgeous Harrods baubles and one got smashed within like the first the first Christmas, I think. Um, kids and dogs, you know. So now I just go for cheaper ones because if they get broke, I won't cry, basically. The next I got, I've never had one of these before. It is a... Crackle wick, which is a crackling wooden wick candle. So I've heard you like them and they like make sound. I don't know how to make the sound. <laughs> like a, it's meant to be like a therapeutic, soothing sound. Um, so I kind of want to try it out because I was a bit like, what? A candle that makes sound? I'm not that keen on the smell, but Jordan liked it. So we thought we'd try it. The colour goes with everything. So I thought we can like it. And uh, if I don't like this smell, it's not the end of the world. They don't last forever, unfortunately. This was £5.99. But I've just noticed there's a massive crack in it. Oh no. There's a crack in it. That's sad. This is £5.99. So I would say for the size of the candle, it's a good price. Because it is a big candle. But now I'm thinking I might send it back because that scares me. Like fire, heat, glass, crack. So we'll see get that sorted but i thought that is a really nice present as well like my, me and my friends do like a five pound secret center so something like that would be really nice next so this i bought this as an idea for the video like a christmas idea um, and i will find someone to give it to for christmas but it's chocolate bombs filled with marshmallows just add milk to make the luxury flavored hot chocolate this is like my favorite present i love these hot chocolate balls like i'm obsessed like me and molly on like a sometimes we'll get them on a friday we'll put them in hot milk and stuff i think they're a great idea um and i just think that's a nice present as well if you're doing secret santa again i keep saying secret santa because all the things that i bought were around five pounds like so i feel like depends how much spending secret santa me and my friends normally do like a fiver um, so yeah, I thought that was a great idea and this was, and these were priced at 7 
Like, these would be gone in a week in our house. We love a good hot chocolate. Then, same brand, same idea, but a little bit different. And I feel like these are great stocking fillers. So we've got the milk chocolate spoons, just add milk. Um, this is a set of three. So we've got peppermint flavour, orange flavour and caramel flavour. And you basically do the same kind of idea. You put it in hot milk move the spoon around the chocolate makes a hot chocolate and um, we've had these before and they're really good again another great stocking filler we'll probably keep these for maybe christmas night and have them christmas these were only 1.99 so i feel like that's really good price shotgun not having the peppermint though just saying i've noticed we i say we me got a lot of hot chocolate in the bag i think there's more mm -hmm. Then I grabbed just some um, money wallets because some of my family members and like my nephew is like older now and they don't really want presents anymore. Cry. Um, so I'll put some money in those. I only bought four because we don't have that many people that we um, give money to. Um, but now I'm out. <laughs> I just hit my fucking face. These were a pound. So a pound for four, which I think is good. Then we have a little Santa um, snow globe. This is for Marley's Christmas Eve box. That's what I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna I need to do a pile of Marley's Christmas Eve box stuff. So yeah, this is just, I think this was like a pound, um, but this will come out every year. Same again, I don't mind buying little Christmassy bits because they never go to waste because we just reuse them every year. So we just cut it for a second so we could get the next bag. So next I got, these teddy this is a teddy long hot water bottle love this i'm still being harsh on putting the heating on um so if i can avoid it still i will unless we're absolutely freezing like we've got dressing gown slippers so we just put them on it's just because we put the heating on this is how our house works it's so annoying so the house either freezing or boiling hot if we put the heating on it's too hot and then we don't sleep at night because it's sweating all night because we're in the middle of two houses i feel like the heat gets held really well so yeah i try and avoid the heating as much as possible and we put the tumble dryer on and that heats the house as well trust me so i just saw this and thought I'm gonna slap myself in the face of it like I just did. <laughs> I just thought this was a good idea to like wrap around myself or on my feet. There was other teddy stuff, but I had to stop myself. There was a teddy feet warmer, but I was like, no, I've got slippers. I don't need one of them. So I got this, this was 7 99 But I also feel like, I don't know. I feel like hot water bottles are nice stocking fillers or like normally for Jordan's sister, I'll do like a little hamper. So like something like this, or I also got, I also bought a neck one, which I've never seen before. Um, this was 5 99 I kind of feel like, like my mum would really like this. It's like, if I do a hamper, like I said, for Jordan's little sister as well, like I do hamper bits, so things to fill it up. Then next, the bag's falling on me. This kind of goes with the candle and the glass jar that I saw, and I've seen it on social media and was like, I want one of these in my life. So it's an egg. Put. so you put your eggs in there and in there and it just makes them look nice and neat i actually put my eggs in the fridge so this might change me and get them out because people find me weird because i put them in the fridge because apparently you're not meant to i don't know why so yeah i got that this was 5.99 which i don't think is bad at all i think that's a really good price for this and it'll get so much use like this is something that you'd use for years i just like the idea and it just looks neat and i like things with labels so that goes in like the home pile this is like the christmas pile that's the home pile then we have a pencil case which is one of them poppets molly loves poppets so i saw this and thought oh great stocking filler kind of after buying it thinking he doesn't have pencil case at school bearing in mind they don't have them they already have like the pencils at school but if he takes this to school when he gets older, when he needs one, it will be maybe a bit annoying for his teacher. So maybe it's a at home pencil case. But but this was only 2 99 which I didn't think was bad. Bearing in mind, if you buy an actual one of the Poppet boards, they're like five pounds. So yeah, you get a full pencil case and Poppets on either side for that 2 99 Then I got this glow in the dark slime tube kit Nickelodeon vibes. 
Um, I don't actually know what, oh, you literally just, it's just make your own slime, but like a mini one, which is kind of better because I really hate storing like all the, like we've got so many crafts in this house and I'm running out of space. So I'm glad we just got a mini one. But I just thought again, stocking filler, ouch this was only it was only 250 which i think is good because slime these days is expensive then jordan picked him up some socks these are 249 they're just christmas socks they say chill on the bottom um and they've got a little cute snowman on so yeah again stocking filler um i've just realized jordan's bought the ears and the size is 6 to 11. um so these are for jordan i feel like he did this on purpose he six said oh let's 11. yeah they're bigger than my feet Oh, I feel like Jordan secretly put these in for himself and was like, yeah, we'll get these for Marley. And so Jordan treated himself some Christmas socks that were 2.9. So if you get a smaller size, these are a good stocking filler. Then I saw this and I wanted one of these because I had, like, I bought it for Marley because I had one when I was younger and was obsessed with it. It's like a tangle twist shaped fidgeter. Um, and I feel like this was because I was easily distracted. I had one of these when I was younger at school, actually. This is a collect and connect. So you can buy different ones and connect them. This was 2 dollars Again, just something to put in his stocking or his Christmas Eve box. We got some Christmas stamps. These were for his Christmas Eve box. There is 10 stamps in here. And these were 99p. Um, and I'll either put them all in Marley's or if I do little bags for my nephews and nieces, add these just take them out and add some to their little goodie bags my sister normally does that and she's so creative and i feel like she always gives them a present then gives them this cute little bag full of like knickknacks so and then this one this advent calendar this is a cadbury's one guys jordan's just informed me that this was also 7.99 and i feel sick that we've spent that much on advent calendars like i'm kind of questioning returning it because no one needs I bought this for Marley because I was like, oh, Jordan, we'll have to get Marley like a cool one as well because you've got a cool one. Thinking it would be like just four pounds, which I still think is a lot of money. And it was 7 99 I feel sick. I think that's a lot for an advent calendar. It may be cool, but and jo Marley will be happy, but that, I just don't know. I feel like he doesn't even like some of the chocolate in here as well. Like a curly whirly you won't like. So then Marley loves Among Us. So we thought we'd get this one to wrap up. I've nearly done all my Christmas shopping for Marley and our family. Um, just like, I keep saying stocking fillers. I must, if I got a pound for every time I said stocking filler, it would pay for this whole bar bargains haul. Um, so yeah, this was 14 99 um, he's at that age where I feel like you ask him what he wants and he says puppy or baby and yeah Santa don't make them um so when I ask him what he wants he's like I'm a, like he's not really one I just feel like when I was little we'd write a list whereas I asked him to write a list and he's like yeah I'm okay like I'd just like a baby so I just thought we have to try and think of things that he would like he did want an Alexa. That was one thing we have got him, the little mini Alexa. But yeah, so yeah, we got this Among Us. I think this is cool. They also had different size ones that were cheaper, like smaller ones and then big ones. They, they had quite a lot of options. So if your child likes Among Us, I would definitely say Home Bargains has plenty. Then our child is obsessed with Oreos. So this is an Oreo tin. We buy one of these ever since they came out, basically. Like I think we bought them last year and the year before that. Um, and it's got different flavours. Oreo and this was 4 50 And this will go in his Christmas Eve box. Then I grabbed these bits. I like Christmas Eve boxes. So colour your own. Oh my goodness. I didn't even know. It's a squishy. I thought it was clay. But it's a squishy. So colour your own squishy. This was 2 29 This will go in his Christmas Eve box. Something to do before Christmas. Then I grabbed a surprise bath bomb, a Christmas one. So inside it's got maybe one of these three little characters. I always get bath bombs from Home Bargains because they have really cool toys in. Some of them light up and Marley loves a bath bomb and so do I. So this was 150 Christmas Eve box. Then I bought, this is a treat to myself. I've really wanted a waffle maker. Like, I see all these influencers doing, like, waffle tutorials, healthy waffles, ideas. And I was like, I want one of these in my life. So I got one. And I just think, 
it'll get used a lot. How much was it? It was 9 99 so less than a tenner for a, a kitchen applicant. Is that what it's called? Is that what it's called? So yeah, I was very happy with this. This was the one that I really wanted. Then I grabbed a Dymo, basically, label printer because I needed one in my life because everyone's got one. I love labeling stuff, but I'm always just using a Sharpie, which does the job absolutely fine. But I just saw it and thought, you know what? I've come past this so many times and Home Bargains never bought it. I'm gonna get it for myself. This was twelve pound, and then the refills were the refills were seven quid, which is quite a lot. But you get three, so I'm hoping this will last me forever now. Then I grabbed some uh, knobbly nuts. Don't ask. Just saw them and was like, yeah, love these when the pub brings them out. So I grabbed some. Then I got a load of Christmas bags. Like I say, if I buy too many, it doesn't matter because they'll be used next year. But they're all like, like Home Bargains Christmas bags are the cheapest of like anywhere, like compared to supermarkets and different places. Um, so we've got some Grinch ones. They were 99p each. They've got like stars in, shaking them around. Some unicorn ones, 150, well, 149. Um, these ones are like, just have yourself a merry little Christmas gold and white colored, which are 79p each. So we're back with more. My lovely assistant Jordan's helping me out. So I got these cute bags, love these ones. These are 89p. I basically got a couple of everything. So I'm sorting for this year and next year. We had these pretty, these are gorgeous. These are like, they're a slight blue tin, but these were 99p each. Um, these are like 99p bigger versions of this one. So I got two sizes. Um, and as you can see, I did buy a few sizes. I got some plain ones. These were 69p with stripes. 99p, nice little red theme one. 79p a winter wonderland white and silver uh showed that one and then two 59p wine bags so that's all my bags so basically i don't need any more bags that will that will do every single person in the family's presence bagged and then i probably will have maybe a couple left over for next year but like ones like this like these are great for kids like i love these designs they're just cute then i grabbed this candle and for us, like my family, we always like candles at Christmas or birthdays. Um, and I saw this and it just made me like smile. It says forever in our hearts, shining bright at Christmas. So I'll like this for like my nan and my granddad and my auntie. Um, yeah, we, it's just something we do. Like if you know, there's a candle at my mum's, if it's lit, she's either like sad or it's a birthday or Easter, Christmas kind of thing. So I bought this, there was only one. So I'm hoping they'll stock them up because I really wanted to get some for my family. This was 149. Then I saw, well Jordan actually picked this up, a cocktail shaker set. I just thought, again, really good present. Um, I don't want to say who we might give it to because they might watch the video and know. Um, Jordan really wants to keep it for himself, but I've got someone in mind. Um, this was 8.99. Another bag empty, woo! Then I grabbed, because we had we had bought one of these before, but I left it out like down the side of the shed and it was disgusting. So we bought a new Christmas mat, Santa please stop here. So this was 8 49 got Santa on there, Santa please stop here. So this was like for the house, for outside. And then, as I have been saying, the Christmas Eve box. I'm gonna have to move my legs. So this is, a dinosaur themed one marley did have one for years so it would have been six years he's had it um but it broke the side was hanging off and every time i tried to nail it back on it still came apart and ended up being like a danger habit because the net danger hazard because the nail kept sticking out so i made the jump and bought a new one even though i was avoiding it because i really wanted to keep the other one because it was like really nice um but this one is really big size it's dinosaur themed they did have a girly one which had unicorns or fairies on. I can't remember now exactly, but um, we went for the dinosaur one. And it says special delivery um, delivered 24. If you have been raw, some checked twice by Santa Claus. I just think it's cute. This was so Jordan just told me it was 
and I think that's a really good price. Like this will be used for years. This is gonna get 10 years out of it. How old's Marley? When he's 16, he might not want a raw son. Uh, Christmas Eve box, he might. Um, so yeah, I think that's a really good price. And the fact that it's got locks on it. I'm, I'm impressed with that. I knew it was under 10 pound, but yeah, definitely recommend it. They had smaller ones and they had one, it was absolutely stunning. It said Christmas Eve box in wood on the front. It was quite a lot smaller than this. It was like half size and it had lights on. But Jordan was like persuading me to get the dinosaur one, so we went for that. But there is really nice ones, especially if you have teenagers maybe and you want to get them like a little Christmas Eve box, but John was in or whatever. Um, I would definitely check them out. Then I think this is the last Christmas box we bought him. Not the creepy one, we bought the cute looking one. I actually think we do have an elf on the shelf, but he's a bit different, he's a bit big. So we thought we'd get a small one, um, but the plastic ones just, I don't know what it is. They creep the hell out of me. So we thought we'd just go for like a friendly, fluffy, squidgy one. Um, he was just 2 49 or she, whatever. So following on, we have got this cute Santa Claus is coming to town. This is a tumbler and it's got glitter in it. I just thought that's, this is nice. Something again, we still have got the one from last year. So it will just add to his cup collection. And if you have a six year old that comes home from school with broken bottles, any kind of cup or bottle is very helpful in this house. So this was 2 49 great for Christmas Eve. Then I found this magic painting Christmas book. So he's had one of these before when he was a bit of a baby, um, which was not Christmas themed. But you basically put water in here and then it changes colour. And I just thought that was nice. China, he's not hugely into colouring, whereas I feel like this will excite him because the water will make different colours. And this was £2.49. It should be £7.99. So that will also go in the Christmas Eve box. Now, this was just a bit of one of them rubbish toys that you bought just to kind of... No, this will make Marley so happy, but it is a little bit like there. Um, it's a Rubik's Cube Christmas theme. So just another stocking filler or Christmas Eve box. Um, it will probably frustrate him actually, because they frustrate me because I can never do them. This was one ninety nine, so it wasn't expensive. Um, it will go in the Christmas Eve box. Then we have the snowman glasses. <laughs> Again, it's just a bit of fun um, to put in his Christmas Eve box. These were 99p for Marley's Christmas Eve box. And then, oops, the last few Christmas Eve bits, I got a wind up character, a little hot chocolate elf um, that you put in warm milk, a donut hand sanitizer. I always buy one of these because I just think they're great to put on my car keys. Um, and Marley's school bag. They have like different character ones. A Santa mask, which I think will be very funny and Marley will be find that hilarious. Another bath on this has got a light up um, toy inside. And then a sleigh bells gingerbread bath bomb. These were all under one pound, a pound or under. Um, and then I grabbed myself some Hollywood bronzer for the hair on your face. Um, I broke my other one. So yeah, I've got the hair removal tool, which was 2 99 Highly recommend these products. I use them all the time. So this, what is on half of my bed, is what we got today for, from our home bargains, Christmas vibes. Obviously there was a few home bits in here, but mostly everything we bought for Christmas. I'm basically sort of for Christmas now, which is great. Um, I think I've got one more person to get a present for in the family. So I hope this helps and gives you some Christmas ideas, especially for your little ones. Um, I do feel like they had a lot of bits that are affordable, which the kids will love, especially when times are tight at the minute, especially with the bill prices. Um, so everything in here is going to get to full use. Um, thank you so much for watching. As always, please like the video if you enjoyed it. Comment below what you'd love to see next. And as always, please subscribe. Thank you so much, guys.